Here's BK42 and I want to show you this amazing unbranded affordable e-bike. For full disclosure, this isn't a sponsored video. I have a deal with the manufacturer to offer a special gift and a discount coupon for the new buyers by the end of this video. Stay with me! This is what it looks like when it's folded now. But don't be fooled, this bike is a beast. From the pictures, you can't really tell what size it is. When you see it in the flash, you realize how big this thing is. If you are looking for a bike that you can easily fold and carry around with you, there are more suitable folding bikes out there. It weighs more than 30 kilos and it's not small. It does fold to make it easier to store in the winter. But I can't fit in with my car's boot. I'm 179cm and I'm keeping the saddle and the handlebar pretty much at the minimum height level. So it won't be a problem for taller riders. This is not by any means a small and portable bike, but it is indeed a great all-terrain e-bike and a lot of fun riding it. Unfolding the bike takes some getting used to, but it's just a matter of finding the right position and some patience. There is a little support arm at the bottom to protect the chain ring when the bike is folded. The folding frame mechanism is easy to use and can be adjusted for more or less locking pressure. To unlock it, you need to push the locking pin and pull the lever. Folding the handlebar is very simple. Turn the locking ring left, pull the folding lever and push the bar. The battery is hidden inside the aluminum frame, so it's pretty clean looking. This one has a 48 volts, 14.5 ampere hour Samsung battery pack. The range is around 63 km with one charge and pedaling. And the maximum speed is 40 km per hour. It will drop drastically as the battery level drain. When the battery level is very low, it is still possible to ride assisted only, but the top speed at the maximum pedal assistance is around 18 km per hour. It is not recommended to let the battery die before recharging it, as it can reduce the lifespan of the battery. Riding the bike without the power supply isn't too bad. The smaller 20 inch wheel and the frame design are not the best for a push bike, but I have traveled more than 20 km with the system off. The manufacturer offers batteries going up to 17.5 amperes hour if you want more capacity. The charging process isn't fast, about 6-7 hours for a full charge. Replacing the charger with a faster one is unsafe, according to the manufacturer. It can be charged using the small plug located near the battery compartment. Or if you prefer, the charger can be connected directly to the battery pack as well. If ordering from this manufacturer, be sure to specify the appropriate charger plug type for the country you are living in. The bike comes with a set of keys. They are used to lock and unlock the battery compartment and it runs with or without the keys on. This one comes with a Bafang 750 watt motor, but you can choose from 250 up to 1k watts. The motor accelerates very quickly and it makes a cool sound. The torque's amazing, it's like a scooter power. This motor is powerful enough for any seed hills. It comes with full suspension, the rear shock has adjustable stiffness, but even at its softest setting I found it to be too hard. The front suspension can be adjusted as well to match my riding style. I got a Tektro hydraulic brakes with motor inhibitors which override the powerful motor. They are not the best hydraulic brakes, but they are pretty good. The 9 gear system is cheap, but it does the job. It comes with a Shimano Sora delayer. 
Because of the powerful 750 watt motor, I can ride the bike with or without pedaling support, so shifting is not as frequent compared to a pedaling a normal bike. Although it is a cheaper drivetrain setup, the rear hub drive means that these mechanical parts will only be subject to normal rider pedaling power. If this was a powerful mid-drive bike, I would assume these cheaper components would likely deteriorate quite quickly. The Bafang C18 display allows the rider to configure the pedal assistance system. There are 5 levels plus the sport mode. The pedal assist is very responsive when I start pedaling and it cuts the power very quickly when I stop. But I haven't noticed that how quickly it stops depends on the assistance level. Switching to sport mode seems to only change the display colors. I can't feel any power difference. The bike comes with a thumb throttle, but a twist throttle is also available. The handlebar is definitely a weakness. It's small and clunky. I will replace it soon and the manufacturer could improve it as well. The controls are uniformly laid across the bar and can be moved for a better fit. There is another adjustment clamp for the handlebar position. A colorful and big Bafang label display show battery and speed information. It's very bright and easy to use. The display controls the integrated front and rear lighting, allowing the rider to switch the lights on and off when needed. The light sensor sensitivity can be changed in the setting as well as maximum speed and other options. If your phone runs out of battery, there is a USB charging port available, which is a great backup power source. The integrated headlight is bright and pretty strong. I received some complaints from other road users, so I keep it pointing down. The rear light is well designed and it works together with the headlight. There are no brakes or turning lights though. The 20 inch by 4 tires are massive. I do recommend going crazy in the ring colors. They really stand out. The kickstand is fairly cheap, but so far it still keeps the bike upright. I decided to remove the aluminum alloy fender and the aluminum alloy bash guard. They are great, but I just don't like them. The rear hack is simple. It's rated at 20 kilos and it's very sturdy, perfect for daily commutes. Once the order is placed, it takes about one month to arrive in Europe. Delivery can take longer if you customize the bike and lives further away. For a buyer I know in Ireland, it took a little over six weeks to arrive. So it does depend, ask the manufacturer to get exact delivery estimates for your location. The customer service is great and very responsive. I decided to replace the folding mechanism just to make it look better and they sent me a new one charging only the shipping costs. You can see how easy it is to replace the lever in this video right here. All technical questions are answered very quickly as well. The bike is very well built, it's solid and all joints are neatly welded together. There are some upgrades to be done, but at this price range, I was expecting that. This bike is priced 987 USD, plus shipping and local taxes. I paid about $1320 to be delivered in Warsaw, Poland. Be sure to get a total price that includes delivery to your door. The DDP shipping option will ensure you are not hit with any unexpected customs, tax or delivery costs after the bike is shipped. I feel comfortable and safe riding this bike. Lots of fun riding it. No regrets. And finally, I was very concerned about how the bike would be delivered at my home, about the packing and so on. They pack it very well, with plenty of extra protection and the carton box was huge and very solid. Watch the unboxing video right here. As I promised at the beginning of this video, if you contact the representative and say that you are coming from the BK42 channel, you will get a gift of your choice. A mobile phone holder or a kettle holder. The wheels will be painted with your favorite color for free, plus a $20 coupon. All contacts and information will be in the description below. I hope this video was helpful and will support your purchase decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Cheers!